Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us uh, continue studying the case of Allah. Before we start, you need to notice that sometimes people, they come in the chat, and they use names which supposedly not Muslim names, but in fact, they are Muslims, and they try to make us, we as a Christians, attack each other and speak against each other in, our, in, in the back of each other. So always be aware, and don't be stupid, and don't make them fool you. The one who said to me, why you don't uh, debate uh, James White? I say to you, I have nothing to debate with James White. At the end of the day, he is a, uh, you know, he's wrong about Islam, but he is still, as long as he believe in Jesus, as God, as Savior, I have nothing to debate about, except if you want to talk about Islam, then we can. However, don't play the game of divide and conquer because that will not work, especially with me. I go and I speak against anyone speak wrong, but doesn't mean I am against James White as a person. I don't know him. And at the end of the day, he is a person. He believes in Christ as Savior. He believes in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He believes in all the things we as a Christians, we believe. So at the end of the day, he is my brother in Christ. So don't play this game and try to, you know, to come like, oh, well, you, you know, what about you who bring me Muslim? Why, why you are you worried about James White? Is that your worry now, James White? You as a Muslim? What James White? Always they try to divert your attention from the real issue. That is the whole story. Look, in the front of us, we have people touching rocks, putting their hands in a wall covered by a skirt. And this is a holy house of Allah. We have a religion who believe that God have a house and the black stone his right hand and the black stone is in the shape of a private part. And you are worried about James White. What about you Muslims? You call me and tell me who is Allah? It's a question we keep asking. Not a single Muslim can just answer a very simple thing. I mean, name when one thing for, you know, for Muslims, they have answer for it. They don't know. They have no idea. And be aware when Muslims they say revert. Revert is a word to fool you. Only foolish people they accept when somebody says I'm a revert. Revert is somebody changing sect between sect in one belief. So Muslim they try to fool you, say he is revert. Well, you are not revert. You converted to a satanic demonic cult. Revert if we have the same God. Do the Christians and the Muslims have the same God? No. Somebody will say to you, Arabic Christian, they use the word Allah. Yes, they use the word Allah, but they don't talk about the God of Islam, and they use it because they are under the occupation of Muslims for 1,400 years. Our God is a spirit, your God is not. As simple as that. I mean, I do not need to go on the details of the Trinity. No need, that's it. Your God is not a spirit and he has no spirit. My God is a spirit. So how we can have one God? Not to forget to mention that your God have a very bad ethic. Your God is a criminal. Your God is crazy. Your God is a stupid. And we can prove it right now, right here. So to say I reverted then you have to say, you have to prove to me that your God is the same as my God. Your God heaven have porn station. It's a big house of porn. Naked women, there's nothing there except boom, boom. My God don't have that. So if we have the same God, we have the, shouldn't we have the same heaven? If we have the same God, then our God should promise us boom, boom too. Your God is the God of the boom, boom. As a brother, David Wood, he called it the boom, boom room. 
So what do you mean we have the same God? We don't. I'm going to open my Skype so we can start studying. And all Muslims are welcome. And by the way, I'm not being rude. I mean, just I'm asking questions and um, I'm stating facts. I mean, uh, am I lying that if I say that you're in your, in your heaven, there's nothing but boom, boom. In your heaven, there's nothing but wine, bed, boys, 80,000 boys, a slave, a slave for each one of you. And a lot of women for boom, boom. Th that's the truth. Whatever you want to say about your God, this is disgusting. What kind of God, in order to make one person happy, he will enslave 80,000 child? And he will make a lot of women just for boom, boom. Is that God really? Who is a Muslim when I call us? My, my Skype is open. And I will be happy to take your call. Now, if we go to Islamic uh, 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 website, uh, Islamic website, uh, to try to understand how the Muslim they present their God, you will die laughing. You read an article for written like it, it took the guy maybe twenty hours to write the articles. After reading the article, which took them 20 hours, you will find that he told you nothing. All what he said to you, my God is God. Some biggest misconception to many non-Muslims have about Islam have to do with the word Allah. For various reasons, many, many people have come with belief that the Christian worship different God than the Christians and the Jews. This is totally false. We can prove it. Can you prove it? Who is a Muslim when to prove to me that the God of the Christians is the same as the God of Islam? How you can prove that? Your God is a leg. My God is not. Your God is a physical being. My God is a spirit, a physical being. He can be whatever he wish. And he is not as the Quran described. So he came as a physical being in the flesh of Jesus. In the same time, he is a spirit. But your God, Allah, is not, he is not a man like Jesus. And he is not a spirit like the Holy Spirit. So what he is, he is a physical being only. He is a leg. So the nature of your God is not, not the same nature of my God. The physique, if your God is funny, you Muslims, you believe that you have a God, have five fingers, have a foot, have a shin, uh, have a, have two eyes, have two hands, but yet you say, we don't know how he look like. Okay. Do he have a spirit? No, he have no spirit. But this is totally, you see, even like if you, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some Muslim, they will say to you, oh, in the Old Testament, there's no Trinity. My friend, don't mention the Trinity right now. In the first chapter, the book of Genesis, verse number two, number two, num number three, number four, you will see that the Bible says, God is speaking, saying that God's spirit was above the water, the spirit of God. So our God is a spirit, our God is not. That's it, it's over. So in the book of the Jews, which is our book, in the book of the Christian, which is the, the, the Gospels, our God is a spirit and your God is not your God he encouraged child molestation your God he encouraged rape your God encouraged a theft your God God is never approve a miracle your God is say stupid things so which who is your God anyone Any Muslim?
So all this noise, look at this article, how funny it is. Okay, look what they say here. For example, Muslim like Jews reject the Christian beliefs of the Trinity and the divine incarnation. That's false. The Jews don't re reject the divine incarnation, you idiot. Isn't it the Old Testament says that God, he came to Abraham as a man? <clears throat> so what are you talking about? So look, they make articles, and supposedly this is made by somebody he is he knew what he's talking about. But in two seconds, you will find that this guy is a professional idiot. He do not know what the Jews believe, he do not know what the Christian believe. And as long as you don't believe in divine incarnation, so how your God Allah became a tree in the Quran? Isn't it your God Allah? He spoke to Moses from the tree. And he was a burning bushes he was a tree or he was a fire it doesn't matter if we go in the Quran <coughs> and there is many verses in the Quran about uh, the, the incarnation of Allah this is your book not my book chapter 28 verse number 30 the story of Moses which is a story from the Bible which is written in a very funny wrong way and when he reach reach it reach what the right bank of the valley okay <clears throat> he was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed field from the tree If this is not incarnation, this is what? This is what exactly? Who was in the tree? If you say to me Allah was in the tree, that is really, I mean, so what? His Allah is a monkey now, what, or his God, or what? So either you say to me that God literally was exist there, or you explain to me maybe he was hanging on the tree because it says he spoke from the tree. Muhammad Qasim saying, I am lied and said, God in the tree. God doesn't say in front of you. Here we go. He was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed flea field from the tree. So he was called from where? From the tree. What the tree voice says? Oh, Moses, Lu, I am, I even, I, I, I am Allah, the Lord of the world. The voice came from from where? From the tree, not from the bushes. The tree itself is talking. So according to the Quran, your God Allah is the same as a magical tree we see in Disneyland. Not from the bushes, this is a tree. And you are saying to me, I'm lying, Mr. Qasim? How you say that? Isn't it, this is your translation? I am willing to change the translation for you, Mr. Qasim. What translation you like? Huh? What translation you like? Give me the translation you like and I will show it. Which one? In Arabic, there's many words for God. There's Rab, there is Ilah, there is there's tons of words. But Allah is not one word, Allah is two words. A L is a word meaning God. La is the name of the God. It's not a word meaning God. So why you are saying I'm lying? I said Allah is from the tree. The, the tree spoke. The tree spoke and said I am Allah I will change the translation maybe this translation is not fair remember this is your Muslim translation this is Muhammad Biktal let us change to different idiot which one you want give me the name Halili and Khan there you go this is Khan all of them they are Muslims 
he was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed place from the tree from where from the tree and what the tree said oh Moses I am Allah hello you don't like to just translation we can change it for you you see it's not a voice just coming from the direction of the tree that the voice is coming from the tree and what the voice of the tree said oh I am Allah and just to show you that it's very possible that Allah is a tree how we know that if we go in the Quran Allah he says he is the same as a tree which is not uh, and uh, have a uh, have a fire in it and it light from olive tree uh, olive tree, tree oil read with me <clears throat> uh, you know the Muslims they don't know what uh, what their God uh, is saying about himself is that the Quran or I'm making things up Allah the light of the heaven and the earth the parable of his light as there were a niche and within within it a lamp and the lamp is in a glass and the glass as it is where a brilliant star light from blessed tree here we go where the light of Allah coming from from a tree where Allah spoke from from a tree so you Muslims you should have a Christmas tree call it Allah and in the Christmas tree of Allah you call it Allah tree and you hang like toys look in the shape of the shin of Allah and make light in it And then now, zero Muslim wanna call us and tell us who is Allah. And not only that, the disaster is even getting bigger. When Allah, he says, blessed is the one who is in the fire and the one who is around the fire. Who is a Muslim can tell me who is in the fire and the one around the fire? When he came to it, which means Moses, he was called. Blessed is who is ever in the fire and who is ever is around it. Okay, Muslims, who is the one blessed who is in the fire? Any Muslim? You see, you Muslim, you say you don't believe in carnation. It looked like you Muslims are Zeradish who worship the fire, maybe, because it says a bless is the one who is in the fire and the one who is around the fire. So what we have here, we have an act of worship of God who is inside the fire, burning fire. You see, remember this story is coming from the Bible, but the Muhammad he played with it, and by playing with it, it became a Zer like a Zeradish story. So now we have God who is blessed. And where is this God? He is inside the fire. And who is around the fire? Hmm. I'm just trying to understand, you know, what Muslim want to say to me. Any Muslim? Look like Muhammad Qasim, he went in a mute now. He don't want to talk no more. Uh, look what uh, Muhammad Qasim, he said. Seem like Moses' family from the context, the Arabian prophet. No, my friend, Moses, he left his family far away. And he came to check the fire. So he did not go back yet to see his family with the fire. He saw fire away and he says to his people, stay there. I'm going to come back to you. 
the problem that you Muslims you are the same as your prophet you do not know how to read you do not know how to write and you cannot understand two line together here we go the story in front of you remember when Musa said to his household his family verily I have seen the a fire I will bring you uh, some uh, information which is funny translation by the way I mean I will give you some information I will give you some uh, you know they want fire or maybe they want to see who is there I will bring it to you a burning brand hmm. so he did not take them with him so who is the one was in the fire and who is the one around the fire still no answer so you are just guessing yeah I look at the verse before it this is why I got you busted you see the funny he's saying to me look at the verse before it I just did and I got you busted Abdul his family they are not around the fire yet because he says I will bring you a branch from it but since he went he did not came and after he went there Allah spoke to him he did not go back to his family yet. <laughs> what a bunch of kids. Like, can we find a smart Muslim who knows what is written in his Quran? He saw the fire from far away. He said to his family, hey, stay here. I will go and bring you some of news or some branch from it. Look like Musa do not know how to make fire. He, he should watch some uh, videos on YouTube about... Uh, 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 butcher craft how to make fire okay and he went there and then by going there Allah starts speaking to him you see when he arrived to the fire what he what what we hear and here by the way you will notice the story is different from the other story I mean Muhammad he cannot even maintain the story look this is the same story supposedly but this is in chapter 28 in chapter 8 28 it says Musa as he went with his family they are traveling he saw a fire in the direction and he said to his family wait I, I seen I have seen a fire maybe I can bring you from it there uh, some information or some burning brand from uh, like a, a branch from it when he arrived there here you see he arrived to the right hand of the valley for sure Allah will be in the right hand not in the left <laughs> and then in a blessing in a blessed place of the tree a voice came from the tree and he said to him verily I am Allah the Lord of the world but look at the story here the story is different when he came to the fire not to the tree here there's no tree anyone see the word tree here anyone see in the story the word tree here what happened to the tree? Any Muslim can tell us? What happened to the tree? There is no tree. How come in that story there, there is a tree, and in the other story here, there is no tree? Sheikh Rohi, how are you? Talk, talk to you from Paltok? Well, uh, Sheikh Rohi, he have no answer too. I mean, he's a Sheikh or not, he have no answer. You want to bet? Nothing will change. None of them have an answer. The Sheikh is the same as the one who have no, you know, information. Okay, I'm going to Paltok, Sheikh Rohi. <clears throat> Let us see. <coughs> well, I don't see you. Text me, Sheikh Rohi, if you are live in Paltok, so I can take your call. All right. Let us uh, talk to uh, Dr. Sheikh Rohi and see if he can answer us. And I assure you, he have no idea.
السلام عليكم. عليكم السلام شيخ روحي how are you? كيف حالك my friend? Everything is fine. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you Lord for everything. So Sheikh Rohi, you heard what we are talking about the tree story. Who was who was in the tree? Uh, thank you, my friend. Uh, God said, God said in the in the Holy Quran, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim." Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. فلما آتاها نودي من شاطئ الوادي الأيمن في البقعة المباركة من الشجرة أي موسى إني أنا الله رب العالمين. So translation, but when he came to to it, he was called from the the right side of the valley and the in a placed spot from the tree. O Moses, indeed I am Allah Lord of the worlds. Uh, it was supposed modern technology help you to understand how Moses heard voices from the tree. Hmm. Now, if the if uh, the phone rang and you are you ask who are you, the speaker said I am your father or I am your friend. Does hmm. this mean that the speaker inside the t the telephone, hmm. or is that? Uh, mean you have is the true voice of your father also this was mm -hmm. no this was uh, uh, a sign or a prophecy that one day the solid body will speak such as we see uh, in the phone and the mobile and the recorder and we will hear from the wood and the plastic and iron uh, voices like people's voice mm. this not a voice of God, mm -hmm. uh, this not voice of God that Musa heard from the tree. He did not hear the this voice of the, God. He heard the voice of whom? This voice uh, was created by God uh -huh. uh, to understand. Oh, okay. But look, the voice saying, I am your Lord, Allah. So the voice saying, I am Allah, but this is not the voice of Allah? No, no. Now when the uh, telephone rang and uh, mm. you see who the speaker, who God, I am your father. Is, it, is this your father in the, in the phone? Yes. No, it is. Uh, if my voice, father is calling me, created. this is my father calling me. So the one is talking is my father. So you are saying to me that Allah became the phone now. So the voice is coming from the phone is the phone voice. And Allah, he made the phone talk saying, I am Allah. Are you saying that Allah, he made the tree talk, saying, I am Allah? Yes, uh, God spoke to human in language because a human can only understand by this way. But okay, this so, is not the words of God. Okay, hold on. Because God so, is so you are saying like to a human now, in his words. Sheikh Rahi, you are saying to me that your God, he did not really speak to Moses. It was a tree. No, uh, it is not voice of God. It is not. Uh, it doesn't matter. God's that's it. That's, that's me and the one who spoke to Moses, according to you, Muslims. It was the tree, not Allah. Allah, He made the tree no, speak no. in the language of Moses. This is what you said to me a second ago. You said Allah, yes, He made. Yes. Okay. So the one who spoke to Moses was the tree, not Allah. Correct. This voice created by God. But it doesn't matter. God's okay, voice. Allah, He hit the tree by maybe He make the tree like a drum. He make boom, 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 and the tree spoke. Now, that's mean the one who spoke to Moses is the tree, not Allah. That's what yes. you're saying. Okay, but yes. uh, as long as you agree, then that's mean the whole story in the Quran is fabrication because how the tree says, "Oh, I am Allah," but the one is talking is not the voice of Allah. God. Must uh, create voice because the man and Moses and me and you not uh, understand Ill, uh, unless by voice mm -hmm. we understand by this okay, word. Let me ask you by, by this so way. So when Allah is spoken Arabic, 
they he spoke the Quran in Arabic or he made a, a, a phone speak in Arabic or a tree speak in Arabic who is the one who gave the Quran in Arabic is it Allah speaking in Arabic or the voice was a voice of somebody else too Uh, God not to speak in the uh, Quran in Arabic by voice you heard this is a message no, by no, Jibreel, no, 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 no. Okay, by Jib Gabriel. okay, Jibreel, 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 he got the message from where? From God. Okay, how Allah from, gave him the message? But we don't know. What do you mean you don't we know? We don't know how, we don't know. Know how add uh, till Jibril this message? Okay, hold on. So you yes, say you say you don't know say, how Jibril gave. Hadith not say. Hold on. You say Jibril. You do not know about how Jibril got the message, but you know for sure that the one who spoke there in the tree is not Allah. How you know that? If the tree, like who told you that? Did Allah says to you, "I created a voice, and this is not my voice, and this is the tree I made it speak." I mean, where do you get this from? So look what you do. You fabricate your own meaning because that proved that Islam believing in the incarnation of God in order to, to get away from the incarnation, but nowhere in the verse it says what you said. Can you show me a hadith where Allah is or what your prophet said that Allah he created a voice in the tree, or this is uh, the fantasy of Dr. Rohi? No, no, scholars said God has no ear as my friend, our ears. My friend, what do you mean God no has no eyes? Like hold on, hold on. Eyes. No, God has has ears. Here we go. If we go in the hadith, your God, he says, that he come down every third part of the night. And he asked, who is, uh, who is uh, uh, supplicating to me so I can listen to him? What are you talking about? Do Allah hear you? Isn't it one of the names of Allah is as Samiul Alim? What does Samia mean? Uh, God, uh, this is knowledge of God. No, no, what does Samia mean? No, 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 as Samia or Alim, not knowledge of Allah. What does Samia mean? As Samia, that he hearing every, uh, everything. Okay, so he hearing, so he hear. So don't tell me, don't tell me he don't hear. You know, he hear and he have earring. And here, by the way, he have ears. Look at this hadith here. When Allah, he come every day in the in the third part of the night. He come and he says, hey, Muslims, who supplicate to me? So I may answer him, do Allah hear if he was in the tree or he need to come down to Musa's or he was in heaven still, he can hear Musa's. Where is the location Allah, he can hear Musa's if, if Musa's spoke? Uh, uh. This metaphor to understand how God uh, know everything. And not God, uh, he come down and uh, God, he everywhere, every place God is uh, exist. That's not true. Muslim so God, I never heard of a Muslim believe that uh, Allah is exist everywhere. What kind of a sheikh you are? And secondly, when you say to me, this is a metaphor, where do you get this from? Did your prophet say this is a metaphor? Did he say this is a parable? Our Lord, the blessed and the exalted descended every night at, to the lowest heaven. When one of the third later part of so he he tell us what what part of the night he told us a location which is the lowest heaven and nowhere here it says that this is a metaphorical so where do you get this from uh, because the people don't understand uh, unless in this way Prophet what do you mean Muhammad this way? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Want to if you pray if you pray what what is the point of this if you pray to Allah and Allah he listen to you why Muhammad saying that Allah come down in the third part of the night what is the point of coming down if he can hear you anywhere he is you, you just told me Allah is everywhere which is not what the Muslim believe so if you can be heard everywhere whatever Allah is he can hear you so why Muhammad saying he is coming to the lowest heaven so are you saying your prophet he was he was fabricating things not true that Allah never come down to the lowest heaven? This is a fabrication? No, God forbid. This is uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa want to tell us this, uh, there is a time, a blessing time. Hmm. In this uh, time, there is uh, your uh, spirit, your soul, 
ويل بي يعني ان ان بيور ان بيور كيس this uh, this in this time when god uh, in the last night the the spirit our spirit our soil uh, will be in the pure nice so we can uh, uh, in this time my friend so what god, the point uh, what the point of the location then hear us i understand but you're a prophet he says our god he descend so you see your prophet, he can say, and there's no need to say he descend. He can say, pray at whatever time and Allah will hear you. But look what he's saying. He is giving us a time where Allah come down and he is giving us a location where he come down. So when you say it's a metaphorical, that is not true. Do you have a proof that this is metaphorical? No. It's your own, uh, you know, explanation because this is a problem because Allah obviously is taking incarnation by the way the Rahi isn't it Allah a physical being he is right uh, God said what God said in the Quran this is not the question uh, I'm asking you a similar question is Allah a physical being either you say yes or you say no and then, yes, you, can, and then you can tell me the rest uh, repeat uh, please is Allah is a physical being no 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 he is not a you visitor. are the first muslim ever you you claim to be sunni right aren't you sunni yes okay i never heard of a yes, sunni sure. who is a sheikh from Al-Azhar university you don't believe that allah is a physical being <coughs> since when isn't it allah he no, said that? The... okay when allah in the quran he says he have hands are these those are real hands or they are metaphorical hands not real hands. Not real not hands. Real that's, hands. That's mean you are not a Muslim Sunni. Yes. You are not a Muslim Sunni. The yes. Muslim Sunni they believe Allah have a hand. No, I am. All Muslim Sunni believe in that no. Allah have a shin. Allah have a foot. No, when uh, Allah is have a shin and have a foot. W when? Well, isn't it Allah in the Quran? He says wa yakshifu ansaq. He is going to show his shin. No. What do you mean no? What? Sheikh okay. Rohi. What mean? Uh, yes. This is the verse in the front of you. And Allah, He is going to show His shin. And your God, Muhammad, I, uh, your God Muhammad, He said about His Prophet Allah that Allah will come in the last day. And He, they said to Him, Are we going to see Him? He said, Yes. They said, uh, uh, Muhammad, He says, are you going to be bothered to see the sun in a clear day? They said no. He said, "Are you going to be bothered to see the sun, the, the moon in a in a clear day?" They said no. He said, "And this is exactly how you see Allah." And then they said, "How we will recognize Allah?" He said, "From his shin, Allah will show his shin." So they are talking about seeing Allah. What they will see from Allah, they will see his shin. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, God said in the Quran, uh, hmm. hmm. okay. uh, Translation hmm. uh, on the day hmm. when there shall be uh, a severe affliction and they shall be called upon to make uh, be a, what affliction? Where, where, is the, what, where, is the, where is the shin? What happened to the shin? The shin is gone. This is a translation of this. Uh, this, this is a translation this of shekel. This is a translation is a potato. You are you speak Arabic. You do not need this translation. Where is the word shin? You are reading for me translation of shakir. Okay, I'm asking you, why shakir? He took the word shin. Do do we have the word shin there, or I'm, I'm making it up? So there is a word there. It says oh. it says shin. Why in the translation of shakir there's no shin? What happened to the shin? He ate it. Oh, Kashf al-Saq, Kashf al-Saq, you, uh, you said that you Arabic man. Kashf al-Saq, mm. Arabic Edom, uh, implies uh, be befalling of affliction. Mm. Abdullah ibn Abbas uh, given this mm. me same meaning of this and said, okay. uh, and uh, suppose, uh, and supported it by evidence from Arabic poetry. Let us support from Arabic, to my friend. Here we go. Qala akhada Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam بعضلة ساقي أو ساقه. What the word ساق here? 
shin. And let us go to the to the hadith where speaking about the shin of Allah, shall we? Because Muhammad he spoke about Allah, and he said that this is a real shin. It's a leg, and because this is how they will recognize him, because the whole hadith is speaking about seeing Allah, seeing him. Literally, here we go. We go here. <clears throat> Let us see this hadith here. Um, okay. Do you see this hadith, uh, Sheikh Rohi, in the in the screen? On the day oh, when the shank would be uncovered. Do you see it? I am not in uh, YouTube now. Hadith number Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2940. If we go up, yes. the whole hadith here, the whole topic is about what? Is about seeing Allah. You will see Allah. Let us see the hadith. If this one is not enough for you, Sahih al Bukhari. There is many hadith. Let us take one of them. This is Sahih Bukhari. Some people said, Oh Allah Messenger, shall we see Allah our Lord in the day of resurrection? He said, Do you uh, crowd and squeeze each other to looking at the sun? Blah 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 blah. So it's easy to see Allah. And the whole question about what seeing Allah, not seeing something Allah will do, seeing Allah. There's a huge difference between something Allah will do and seeing Allah. Do you agree? Shaykh no. Rami, uh, what do you mean no? What yes. do you mean no? Look, look, look what the hadith says. Are we going to see our Lord? Correct? So what we will see, yes. we will see our Lord, not something the Lord will do. We will see our Lord. So if the Lord will do something, this is not what they are asking for. They are asking, are we going to see our Lord? Do you agree? No. What no, do you mean no? He, uh, the not see, not see our Lord. No, it says because, that. It uh, says that. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Here we go. I will give it to you in Arabic. I will give you the link. Don't tell me not see our Lord. It says that. Everybody who is listening to the screen, you know, watching the screen, he can see that this is what it says, even in your Islamic fast translation. Are we going? Shall Let we see the... our Lord? Shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? So they will see the Lord, not something the Lord will do. They will see the Lord. And then when he said to them, Allah will come to you in shape different from the shape that one you know. And then they said to them, how will recognize him? He says from his shin, recognize him, seeing him, not seeing something he will do. So if somebody you know, says, are we going to see Christian Prince? And then you say to me, Oh, Christian Prince, he is going to uh, play drum, so you will hear his music. This is not the Christian Prince, because I'm not the music. But the question was, are we going to see our Lord? Yes, uh, it is a wrong translation. Ah, wrong, tra translation. wrong translation. Sheikh Rohi, well, who needs a translation? Here we go. The hadith in the front of you in Arabic, you translate for us. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes, the hadith said, hadith said, يأتيهم بعض ملائكة الله No, the hadith doesn't say that. Oh, no, no, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Ya Sheikh, it doesn't say that. Read with me. And Abu Huraira, قال, قال أناس يا رسول الله, هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة? فقال, 
هل تضارون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله so what are you talking about this wrong hadith it's in, it's in the front of you it says are, يا رسول الله هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة not that the angels will come what are you talking about read it the read it again read it. Uh, said yes 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 so I am right okay. I'm right okay yes yes okay الحديث يقول هل تضرون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله هل تضرون في القمر البدر ليس دونها سحاب why you skip the part where it says هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة I want you to translate that part please why you skip that part okay عن أبي هريرة قال أناس يا رسول الله هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة فقال هل تضرون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله قال هل تضرون في القمر ليلة البدر ليس دونه سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله قال فإنكم ترونه يوم القيامة كذلك إذا نحن نرى الله عن بعد عن Guys, translate. Look, look, look okay. how Sheikh Rohi now he start he he will change his statement one billion degree. A second ago he was saying no, we will not see Allah. A second ago he was saying there is no way it says that, and now I just made him read it saying you will see Allah, and yes, you will see him with your own eyes. Go ahead, translate. Okay, translate. Sawani, uh, what translate? <coughs> I want to seven seven. Uh, shall uh, we see our Lord on the day of resurrection? He said, "Do you crowd and uh, squeeze each other on the looking at the sun when it is uh, hidden by clouds?" Then. Replied, he's uh, then uh, there. Replied, he said, "Do you know Allah's messenger crowd and squeeze each other on uh, looking at the moon when it's full and not hidden by clouds?" They replied, uh, "He said, uh, so uh, know Allah's messenger see him, your Lord, on the day of resurrection." Similarly, Allah will. Gather all the people and say, "Whoever used to worship anything should uh, follow that things." Wonderful. So now Allah uh, will be seen. Literally, Allah will be seen. So what they will see of Allah? I'm going to give you option. They will see his shin. They will see him, all of him. They will see his hands. What they will see? It is uh, a little saying of this hadith for scholars. Uh, some or a lot of them said uh, we not see our Lord uh, some of them said that God uh, he will appear in uh, a shape that we uh, see him hmm. but this is not real God but he will uh, go to us in a shape that we uh, see to, to him Okay, so you are saying to me that Allah will come to you Muslims as a fake shin, fake God. But this is not the real Allah, this is a fake Allah. Are you saying that? Not fake Allah. So you, but you just said to me, you just said to me, you just said to me, but this is not Allah. I mean, everybody heard you, uh, Sheikh Rohi. You are the one who said he will come to us, but this is not the real Allah. Didn't you say that? So this is what the fake Allah. He will come to them, the fake Allah, and he will say, I am Allah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of madness like Why this before? I... What, you, what are you talking about? You just said Allah will come to them, but not is him. Who will come to them? Who is the one who will come to them and he will say, I am Allah? Why I said that? Because hmm. God said in the Holy Quran, La tudrikul absar, wa huwa yudrikul absar, wa huwa al-latif al-khabir. Then, لا يمكن not the our our sight our eyes can surround the God. It is the first 
كلير فيرس ان ذا قران لا تدركه الابصار وهو يدرك الابصار ناو ترانسليشن ترانسليشن ذس ايه ثواني يا بت بت ذس از مين يور بروفيت از لاين اند يو ار نوت انسرينج مي يو نو فورجيت اباوت ذات فيرس نوبادي كان سي الله اوكي وي جات ذات بت يور بروفيت هير سين ذس از ان ذا دي اوف ريزركشن نوت ناو سو ان ذا دي اوف ريزركشن يو ويل سي الله اند اي اسك يو The one who will come and they will see him is that the real Allah? You said no. So now we have two Allah. One is real, one is fake. One is Santa Claus, and one real Allah. Who is the one? This is my question, Doctor Rohi. You said that they will see Allah, but nobody can see the real Allah. You said, and you are the one who used the word shape. So Allah will show a shape, but this is not Him. Is what you said to me, correct? Yes. Okay, so uh, that's mean, that, that, that's mean we have to Allah now. We have Allah the shape and we have the real Allah. So we have fake Allah and we have a real Allah. The fake Allah is the shape. So here Muhammad, the Muslim asked him, are we going to see Allah? Muhammad, he said, yes. Dr. Ruhi, he said, yes, we will see him, but we will see the fake Allah. So Muhammad is lying because they are asking him, are we going to see Allah? Not the fake Allah. Do you see in the hadith where they ask him, are we going to see the fake uh, fake Allah? No. They said to him, are we going to see our Lord? He said, yes. So if Muhammad say yes, and you say yes, but you are saying this is a fake shape, that means Muhammad is a false prophet, lying to the Muslims, saying to them, you will see Allah, but in fact, they don't see Allah. The hadith not say yes. No, it not says yes. Say no, it says yes. No, it says yes. What are you talking about? Look. He says, and this is how you will see Allah. This is how you will see. So you will see him. What do you mean? No, so they don't say yes. They are asking, are we going to see Allah? He said, are you going to squeeze and crowd each other to see the sun in a in a in a uh, in a day where the, the 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 sky is clear? They said, no. It's very easy to see the sun. Uh, the same for the moon. And then he said to them, so. This is so you will see him. You will see him. Him who? Dr. Rohi. Uh, they said, the hadith said, هل تضرون في الشمس? قالوا هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة? We'll see our Lord. هل قال هل تضرون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب? قالوا يا رسول الله. ثم قال هل تضرون في القمر ليلة البدر? قالوا لا. قال إنكم ترونه كذلك. Then we see to the we look to our Lord, our that uh, such as we look to the sun, right? So, such you, but you were said, you said you will see him, it is far him. from us, my friend. From far far so or close, it doesn't matter. If I see the sun, it is the sun, it's a close, it doesn't matter. You will see him, but you said something extremely dangerous that you must then believe that there's two Allah, there's a fake Allah, and there's a real Allah, and we will see the fake Allah. This is what you said. Not speak. Now, when we okay. say look to the moon, when we look to the moon, hmm. is that a real moon or fake? Look, we see. The, is that a fake moon or real moon? It is real moon. Okay. So when we see and Allah, are we, we going to see real Allah? We, and when we look at Allah, are we going uh, to see real Allah or fake listen Allah? Listen to me. Listen to me. Now we look to the moon, but we, uh, if we. Uh, Descend and uh, in the self of the moon, we see the other thing. It is so we see a thing and it is another thing. That's deep. so we that's deep. Uh, Dr. Rohi, what are you talking about, man? What, what, what we will see other things and go deep in. The th uh, I'm asking you, they will see Allah. You say this is not the same Allah, this is a shape of Allah. So now we have shape of Allah, we have Allah, and Allah. He will show them his shape and the Muslim they will think this is Allah. So Allah is lying to the Muslims. You are saying to me that Allah he play hide and seek. He have the real Allah and the fake Allah. The Muslim they will see the fake Allah. And now you are saying to me we see the moon. And then but if we go in the moon you will see something different. We are not going to land on Allah my friend. This is not the question. They ask him are you going to see Allah? He said yes this is how you will see him. And you said to me and everybody heard you. That the one you will see is a fake shape of Allah. It's not the real Allah. Where do you get this from, Dr. Rahi? 
that Allah He have many sheep. Uh, because, because what uh, in the sheep, uh, God said in the hadith, فَيَأْتِيهِمُ اللَّهُ فِي صُورَتِهِ الَّتِي يَعْرِفُونَ Thank you. فَيَأْتِيهِمُ اللَّهُ فِي صُورَتِهِ الَّتِي يَعْرِفُونَ so the scholars uh, okay. so what is the shape what is that shape? what is that shape no meaning suratuhu here is a condition or what his condition? Uh, quality because what equality? Allah lower his equality what before he, okay listen listen you know Dexter Shahi when you say something you have to make it clear for us Allah will come guys in other quality what is that Don't give me words which is empty. Allah will come in other quality. What? He will come as a devil? He will not be in the quality of God no, no more? He will be a bad quality? He smell bad maybe? He look, look bad maybe? What do you mean other quality? Allah is coming to them in other quality. This is what you say. So now you are saying to me, not Allah, not only you have two Allah, three Allah, fake Allah, real Allah, etc. Allah, we have many shape of Allah, and each one of them have different quality. It is uh, that uh, uh, that shape fit to human human being. Thank you very much. So it's Allah, guys, did you hear this? Did you hear what the, what Doctor Rohi he said, Sheikh Rohi from Al Azhar University? Allah will come as a man. Wonderful. Not not. Not you, you are the one I who said to me fit for a man. human being you are saying to me fit for a human being what fit for a human being mean is it fit for a human being as a man uh, so what we see the sun the moon the stars not uh, the sun now is fit for a lot of things the not. sun is fit for a human being now how fit you said to me in different quality is that a lower quality higher quality is that shape is Allah okay let us let us focus together Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know. What is the shape you Muslims you know? Uh, what uh, this is meaning? What is this meaning? Hmm. The shape, uh, me, uh, yani this is a shape, I think it is uh, wrong, trans, uh, wrong. Translation here is wrong, suratihi, not mean his shape. But my friend, mean his my condition. Friend, you are the one who doesn't speak and, with uh, Arabic. Listen, listen, you are the one who doesn't speak with Arabic. Let me show you. Isn't it Allah who said that Allah sawwara Adam ala suratihi? That's mean the shape. Khalaq Allah Adam ala suratihi. Ala surat, suratihi not, not return to God. But to return doesn't matter. To the, word Adam surah, the word surah in the Quran. Suratihi. The word surah in the Quran. The word surah in the hadith. It's about either a, a paint or a shape. In this case, it's a shape because he's coming as a physical mean. So, خلق الله آدم Allah Adam created Adam على صورته. This is the word we are using, surah. So the translation is perfectly fit. Allah created Adam. Either you say in his image or you say in his shape. Which one you choose? Choose one. Okay, let me let me explain, explain uh, to you. Uh, uh, we get this in Arabic, so we hear sometimes when we listen to the news, uh, uh, the announcer said, مثلاً, ما صورة الأوضاع لديك? What's, uh, what are the condition you have الأوضاع? now? Uh, now? I, mean, I, I never heard you of news, this, uh, I never Arabic heard Arabic. I never heard of somebody speak Arabic saying ma suratul awda. <laughs> Are you sure this is Arabic? No? <laughs> suratul awda? Yes, this is in the news. This what is, news is that? the news we What is that, my friend? Suratul awda. Announcer, announcer. My friend, what suratul awda? Ma awda'na fi as-sura, mumkin. Am am taqul suratul awda? Hada hada mudhik ya rajul. يا روحي شنو هذا؟ لا لا يا رجال بهدلتنا بين الاربعه نحن نسمع ليزن وي دونت سي اي نيفر هيرد اوف سمبادي سيين ذات نحن نسمع هذه العبارات 
no. الأخبار نسمع لو أنت تستمع إلى الأخبار إلى المزيدين إلى المصدرين وأنا في الصورة وأنا في الصورة put us in the put us in the situation the image yes وأيضا يقولون ما صورة الأوضاع لديك ما صورة الأوضاع لديك however 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 what are the conditions you have now Okay, listen, 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 listen. Okay, so let us say Allah will come to them ala surah. Surah, this, in this case, if it does not mean shape, it means what? Image, right? No. What? Surah, not so image, what it, not what it, what it does mean? So what, what, what does it mean when it says Allah, he come in a surah? Mean his condition, his condition okay, or his Allah will, quality because guys, Allah will the come belief in his new. condition. So that means Allah, he changed his conditions. Allah is a changeable. Allah he have he can lower his equality Allah he can get rid of some his equality and now he have different conditions are you saying that no <laughs> we need to be, uh, his, his you see the shape, problem Dr. Rahi because shape, you are scared to say adjective. What his adjective? What adjective? Condition or okay. his equality? Okay, you just said his yeah, equality. A second ago, I ask you, him. Allah he changed his equality. You said he will come in the word equality. When I ask you, so Allah quality will change, you said no. But you are the one who said to me, Allah will change his equality. You cannot even stay with your own sentence for two minutes. So Allah will change his equality. I said to you, so Allah, he will change, he change, he is changeable. Because when you say he changed his equality, that's mean the quality of Allah. That's mean the nature of Allah. That's mean Allah himself, he changed. Correct? Let me... Let me say to you what mm. the scholars said in this by Arabic. Al Murad Minas Sura As Sifa Al Ma'na Yadhar Lahum Min Bat Shillahi wa Shiddati Baksihi Malam Ya Lafu Walam Ya Tadu Min Muhammad Tillahi Taala Ma'u Summa Tatihim Bada Velika and Wa'u Rahma Wal Karama Ala Wagi Levia Tadu Hu Alifu. No, هذا no. الكلام هذا اللي قال. ابن تيمية ماذا قال؟ ابن تيمية is an is an idiot. Let me prove it to you. Because when he come to them, they will say to him, "You are not Allah." Correct? Yes. Okay. So what what they reject of him? They reject of him his mercy. The Muslim they will reject Allah because he's merciful. They will say to him, "You are not Allah." What's Ibn Taymiyyah said? Don't, 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 just wait, just answer, answer. You see, you cannot even answer anything. Are you saying to me, the Muslim, they will reject Allah because he come to them with his mercy. They will say to him, you are not Allah. The Allah we worship is a scary God. Is that what you just said? Yes, this is the scholars. Said okay, the scholars are stupid because if this is the case, that means you Muslims, you are false people too. Aren't you the Muslim? You say in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. So Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Uh, the, you you call him the Mercy, the Merciful. So how, if he come to you as a merciful person, you will reject him? Because in the day of the resurrection, there was afflict. My friend, and what I, afflict? As listen, I, listen, as listen, I listen. Sit to you in no, the, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. And then they will say to him, so how we will recognize him? He says the shin. So what we are talking about, he spoke in the beginning about seeing Allah, not his mercy. Seeing Allah, you ignore no, the fact. You see, from the beginning, I told you, they will see Allah or they will say something he will do. In the beginning, you said something he will do. Then we got that busted. Because the hadith says we will see our Lord and he gave example of a physical creature or creation like the moon and the Sun and then he says he will come to them in an image the image here is something they will see you cannot see mercy you feel mercy mercy is not a person mercy is not a creature will walk around mercy is not something to be seen it's something you can feel mercy of somebody somebody help somebody that is a merciful act But here it says Allah himself. He will come to them in a shape other than the one they know and Then they will refuse him. They will say we seek refuge from you You see and here you will see how the hadith refute you and uh, Ibn Taymiyyah The Muslim they will say to him we seek refuge with Allah from you that's mean he cannot be merciful he must be evil 
because they said to him we seek refuge with Allah from you is it the Quran says that when shaitan he whisper into you seek refuge by Allah right uh, that so, uh, said this we seek refuge of you uh, hypocrites he no the Muslims no 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 this is all all the, no, the Muslim, my friend my friend my friend all the all the people they will say we will not follow you all the Muslims not only the hypocrites not all the Muslims and all the Muslims are hypocrite anyway I never saw a Muslim is not a hypocrite but look here it says and then only this nation ie Muslims will remain including their hypocrites do you see it Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they know and will say I am your Lord they will say all my nation not the hypocrite alone not the Muslims part of all my nation they will say we seek refuge from Allah and nobody will talk to him from the Muslims nobody not only the hypocrite you see and nobody read carefully we they will say we seek what? refuge with Allah from you this is our place we will not follow you tell our Lord come to us and then when our Lord come to us we will recognize him see those are not hypocrites Ibn Hagar okay hmm. Ibn Hagar Yaqul hmm. I will read you from the Hadith hmm. and if they say we will be with you قال الخطابي يحتمل أن تكون هذه الاستعاذة من المنافقين خاصة. My friend, انظر ماذا قال؟ نعوذ بالله من قال يحتمل أن تكون هذه الاستعاذة من المنافقين خاصة. Look what you said. Look how funny you Muslims are. You said it's possible. The scholar he says it is possible that this is only about the hypocrite. It's possible. So he is not giving you confirmation. He is guessing. You Muslims, you have a religion of guessing. You cannot give an answer of anything. The hadith is so clear that the, all the Muslims, because look, it says here, nobody will talk to him except the prophets. All the Muslims will refuse to talk to him. Does it say that or no? Let, let me come. Uh, let no, me, let me ask you, the, is it true that only the prophets will speak to him? Yes or no? Only the prophets will speak to him. Be yes, carefully. The speak to him. Yeah, so so that's mean all the Muslims reject him, not only the hypocrite. You see, read carefully just to show you how stupid your scholars when they say what they say to you. Because when it says only the prophet will talk to him, that's mean everybody reject him. You are not our Lord. I, and none, I don't listen, I don't and, complete, and listen, listen, I don't listen. Complete the no, you did not complete. No, and none and none will speak to him. None. Then, but the prophets. So all the Muslims will say to Allah, you are not Allah. Why you are saying to me that this is only for the hypocrites? It says none. Listen, all listen, the prophets will speak listen to Allah. To me. Hmm. Listen to me. What Ibn Hajar said in his ex explanation. Hmm. نعوذ بالله منك قال الخطابي يحتمل أن تكون هذه الاستعادة من المنافقين خاصة. وأنكر القاض عياض هذا وقال لا يصح أن تكون قول المنافقين ولا يستقيم الكلام به وهذا الذي قاله القاض عياض هو الصواب ولفظ الحديث مصرح به أو ظاهر فيه وإنما استعاذوا منه لما قدمناه من كونهم رأوا سمات المخلوق انظر oh, hold on. They oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because... We just destroyed Islam You said they refuse Allah because they say to him, so from him, what is can be seen of a creature, not God. You said that, you just said that. Yes, because they, uh, كما قال, رأوا, uh, سمات المخلوق, hmm. يعني seem of creature. Okay, so Allah, he came to and them in a, in a description of a creature. This is why they refuse him. Because as I told you, that's uh, come. <laughs> okay, no, Rahi. You see, you have no answer, and you are going like going like you know, you know. When I talk to you, I feel like you are like a flag going with the wind, wherever the wind takes you, and you try to 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 just to fly. Let me make it simple for you. As long Allah, and you are the one who says to me, Ibn Taymiyyah, 
you, you try to answer about Allah, you mentioned to me about Ibn Taymiyyah. Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that Allah has a physical being? No. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, okay. I'm sure. I will make you read from Ibn Taymiyyah and let us see how sure you are. You did read everything Ibn Taymiyyah said? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let us see. I will give you something and you can read for us. Let us see. I'm just trying to find uh... All right. Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that Allah he sat on the throne? Are you there, Dr. Rohi? Yes, yes. What do you see, please? What you said? Let us see what Ibn Taymiyyah he says. And I will read together. There's many books, but I'm trying just to find you. Okay. What is... Uh, Who is the one who says that Allah he come down? Okay, let me read to you what Ibn Taymiyyah said in this hadith. No, I will give you I will give you this website. Let us see. The same hadith I just showed you in the beginning. Is that reported by Ibn Taymiyyah too? About Allah, he come in the third part of the night? The Prophet said this, but it is not uh, really come. And I said to you, not physical come. Okay, but Ibn, it did Ibn Taymiyyah, he says that this is not metaphorical. Did Ibn this is say? The, a lot, a lot of use a lot saying of the scholars. There, uh, no, no, this is not, this, uh, Dr. Rahi, I want, I'm just making the question very simple. Did Ibn Taymiyyah, he says, Allah will come down from the sky and he was in the, on the steps of, of the stage and then he walked down the stage and downstairs and he says the same as I am coming down? Did he say that? Maybe he said that. Okay, but maybe, you said to me. Maybe he said. But you said to me that uh, that is metaphorical. Yourself. 
You remember when you called me in the beginning, you said to me, this is metaphorical, and Ibn Taymiyyah, he said, this is not. He was speaking in the, in the stage, and he said, Allah will come down in the third part of the night, and he walked with, down his, with his feet downstairs, and he says, and this is how Allah will go down. But you are the one who said to me that you approve Ibn Taymiyyah, and you are the one who says to me, let me show you what the scholar says about this, and this is metaphorical. Okay, so read what Ibn Taymiyyah said okay, exactly here we go. to this know what, what he said says, exactly. Uh, 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 it says here, uh, let us see what it says. Our Lord will come down in the third part of the night until the last third part, and he says, uh, who is into the, to the lowest heaven, and he says, who is going to uh, uh, supplicate to me, asking me for forgiveness, so I will forgive him. And Ibn Taymiyyah, he read that hadith, and then after that, he walked downstairs, and he says, the same as I go down. Yes or no? I, uh, this is why I'm not uh, saying of Ibn Taymiyyah, this is when the scholars uh, said that Ibn Taymiyyah, but I want so to one of, what one of the scholars said says, exactly in, okay. from his, his books. Look, one of the scholars says Ibn Taymiyyah says that? Maybe fabrication of Ibn Taymiyyah, but I now I search in Ibn Taymiyyah, uh, please read this in Arabic to search in uh, Ibn Taymiyyah books. Hmm. What's it in Arabic? Uh, Let us see, hold on. Exactly. There is many websites. I'm just trying to find something uh, authentic. Uh, not just uh, an article. Let's see. All right. Here we go. This is Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, and you mention, and you are the one who mentioned Ibn Hajar, so you cannot say you don't like him, right? He says in the book of the Durar al Kamina that the people they mentioned that Ibn Taymiyyah he said, and he was on the stage teaching that Allah will come down every night from the sky. As my coming down, and he went down from the stage down down the stairs, and he down from the stage two steps. And this is in the book of Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar, in the book of Al Durar Al Kamina, Fi Aayan Al Maa Al Thamina, volume number one, page one eighty. Okay. I read now from uh, books uh, book of Ibn Taymiyyah Al Fatawi Al Fatawi fi Al Guz Al Khamis Rubumiya O Khamsa Tashar Al Guz Al Khamis fi Al Fatawi Ibn Taymiyyah. Mother Yakul Yakul no men benuzul lahi fi thuluf al Akhir min al Layli il a Sema al Dunya. Ma'aluhi ala Hulk. Wa anna Samawat la to Vulluhu, wala to Pillu. Muhitun bi Hulkihi, wala yuhitu bihi shayun. ونسكت كما سكت الصحابة فلا نقول هل خلا من العرش أم لا وصوب شيخ الإسلام أنه لا يخلو قال الصواب المأثور عن سلف الأمة وأمتها أنه لا يزال فوق العرش ولا يخلو okay. العرش منه مع دنوه ونزوله okay. إلى السماء so you are saying, ولا يكون let, العرش فوقه let, let so you are saying to me Allah he come down in the top of his throne as if it's a car 
but you just admitted that Ibn Taymiyyah said that Allah will come down. You just said, we believe that Allah will come down from his heaven. Yes or no? Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that? No. no. You don't uh, understand what I said. No, I understand. You just said so, that. You just said, Did you say that? But it's so complete. Okay, so, what so, uh, so Allah will come down, but, will stay, he, but still he no, will be no, high. No, For sure he will be let, high. Let me I mean, it says he will be in the lowest heaven. Still he is higher. This is what, what he said. So Allah will come down. But still he is higher than his creature. So what? I don't care. But Allah will come down. But in the beginning, you said to me okay. that this is metaphorical. But in the time here now, he got you busted. He just said, we believe that Allah will come down literally. Not metaphorically. No, no. So what, what he say also? وَلَيْسَ نُزُولُهُ كَنُزُولِ أَجْسَامِ بَنِي آدَمْ مِنَ السَّطْحِ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ بِحَيْثُ يَبْقَى السَّوْقُ فَوْقَهُمْ بَلِ اللَّهُ مُنَزَّلُ مُنَزَّهٌ عَنْ ذَلِكَ My friend, because your scholar is not smart. I don't want to use the word stupid. He just said that Muhammad is a liar. Let me show you why. Because he say, if he say that Allah have no roof on uh, uh, the top of him, well, your prophet, he says, Allah above him, there is air underneath of him is here. Let me show you, there is air. Let me show, show you. <laughs> your scholars, they do not know what is written in their books. Isn't it? This is your God saying that. Do you see? In the top of Allah, there is air. Underneath of Allah, there is air. This is your prophet. Your prophet saying that. Where, where, where he said that? Okay, here we go. This is Ibn, uh, uh, Ibn Majah, hadith number 182. He said, he was above the cloud below which was air and above which was air and water. And when he agree, your scholar, that Allah, he come down. I mean, isn't it obvious when you say he come down that he come down and where he will come down? He will come inside his creation. And isn't it your prophet? He says he will come down to the lowest heaven. He hang up. Guys, the hadith says Allah will come down to the lowest heaven. That's the location. So how Allah will come to the lowest heaven without going through the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven? <laughs> <laughs> it says here he will come look 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 how they try to fabricate in the beginning he said this is metaphorical right after he called me and then he trapped himself he called for me as scholar we spoke about what this scholar he said and then he admitted that the scholar says that Allah he come down but he don't come like a human I don't care if he come like a human or not <laughs> he come down and he come down where he come down to a location it's not the location walking to Allah it is Allah going down it says it clearly he would descend down he would descend you know what descend mean he's failing down he come every night down so here we have what is involved time and location so that's mean Allah is moving physically. Secondly, your God, which you Muslim, you have no idea who's he, and this is the whole topic, and nobody can answer us. He moved inside his creation. When we ask Dr. Rohi about the tree, he says, Allah created voice. This is not Allah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, the Muslims are really funny, cute, very cute, very cute uh, religion. If, if those are the sheikhs, what do you expect from the ones who do not know what they are talking about? Hmm? It says come down. And the Muslim, by the way, I mean, this guy, the scholar, he come with this fabrication from where? Allah. He come down, but not like other. Who? What are you talking about? First of all, your prophet, he says he come down. That's it, he come down. 
even your prophet himself he did not say he come down without he come down but there's no way his chair is in the top of him like what the heck <laughs> you are worried now about his chair <laughs> okay brother he will take the chair with him are you happy Allah will put his chair in the couch on the couch he will put it in the truck he will go down are you happy now look at this stupid philosophy because they have no idea what they are talking about and it's they start their best to make like a, a, a jelly like, like a jellyfish you know jellyfish there's a lot of uh, plasma around so they try to cover Allah by the plasma to make him his holy his big but even their prophet he did not say what they are saying where you get this is from and who care if he come down with a chair or without the chair this is the problem and then he says to me nothing is above Allah and the, the prophet the, pro, the prophet of Islam says no other is there's things above Allah Allah is a swimming in the top of him there is air underneath of him there is an air Always when I speak to Muslims, I feel like I'm talking to a kid, somebody in the first grade, who is trying his best to say to me that the, the, the candy I have is not like any candy. This is what the Muslims have. They have a candy, claiming that it's different from any candy. But they do not understand what this candy is about, and they, they never saw the candy. Dr. Rohi himself, we ask, I ask him, what the word Allah mean? Who is the first one said it? He says it's an Arab guy, we do not know who. We believe it. They don't even know what the word Allah mean. Who's going to believe in such a madness religion? Not only boys and sex and private part and boom boom and fictions, flying carpet. In the top of that, they do not even know who is their God. And the tree said to Musa, I am your God Allah. This guy he answers says, Oh, this is a fake voice of Allah. This is not the real voice of Allah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> hey Randy, how are you? Good to have you, my friend. So this is the good thing about being here in the internet. The Lord always bless us to have people from around the world. And we have here Randy from the Philippines saying hello. Say hello, everybody, to Randy. Filipino people are very wonderful people. I really love them. Very beautiful people. Uh, <clears throat> and here we have a lot of people from Indonesia too. So the Lord, he blessed us with a lot of Christians from Asia. Wonderful people. Uh, any Abdul? Uh, Dr. Rohi is calling back. <laughs> <laughs> I think he requested some help, maybe. <coughs> yes, Dr. Rohi. In my friend, connection was... Uh, my friend, this is what happened yeah. when you use the internet of the neighbor, Dr. Rohi. Come on. <laughs> no, no, it is my, but uh, there is a problem. Right, right. The problem Most that Allah is weak, attention. my friend. So listen to, the, to me. Allah, He come down with His throne. He don't come no, no. like a human. As hadith, my friend. Uh, my friend, as this hadith, كان الله في عماء فوقه هواء وتحت هماء. It is weak hadith. All scholars. My friend, no. Here we go. It says, it says, it says, Hassan. وصححه الألباني. وصححه الألباني. Hassan, do you see it? Now, this in Ibn Maga, ضعيف. في سنة الترمذي صحيح ابن حبان صحيح شعيب الأرمأ 
No, no, no. What do you mean? No, no, no. Where, it's in the screen. Is this is your Muslim website. It says Hassan. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, know when uh, I'm not on uh, YouTube. My friend, I will give you but the link. All Here the scholars. I will give you the link. All no, the you, scholars. This is not true. This is not true. But you Muslims, <laughs> okay. anything, anything, you, you, it's embarrassing. You say it is weak. <laughs> No, no, it is a hadith week. Okay. Allah fi okay, let me ask you. Is Allah, is Allah, no, it's not weak. I just showed the proof. Uh, let me ask you. Is Allah is above the throne or he's under the throne? He's above the, uh, the throne. Okay, as long as he's above, that means he's above. The second you say is above, that means Allah is located in the top of a chair. Do you agree? What meaning of located and I don't know you are the one who says to me he's above I ask you is he above the chair or under the chair you said above now you do not know what located mean you just locate Allah you, you located Allah you said Allah is at in the top of the chair Located the do you physical well, is, is the chair physical or it's a metaphorical You don't know exactly. What do you mean you do not know? Uh, what do you mean you do not know, uh, Doctor Rohi? Why Muslims they don't know anything? This is what I will keep saying to them. The second you ask them embarrassing question, they say they don't know. If you are speaking to a guy who's an American, I'm sure you know. But talking to me, the answer is no. Do you know the Quran says that even there's a th eight goats, mountain goats, will carry the throne of Allah. Is that correct? What I don't understand you. How many goats they will carry the throne of Allah? You are saying, I ask you, is the throne of Allah is physical? You said, I do not know. How you say, I do not know, when the Quran says that there's eight will carry, eight mountain goats will carry the, the, the throne of Allah. Quran said that? Yeah. Goat can uh, carry the uh, throne of God? Yes. Where? Where is this? Chapter 69, verse number Quran 17. Said angel, eight angels. No. Carry. No. No. Say it to me, please. Hmm. Read the chapter 69, verse number 17. <clears throat> chapter 69, verse 17. The angels are around the throne and the one is carrying the throne is eight mountain goats. Are you there? Yes, yes. I. ويحمل عرش ربك فوقهم يوم إذن ثمانية. Okay, who are the those eight who carry the throne of Allah? First of all, you said to me that the throne of Allah is metaphorical. How he is metaphorical? But there is eight carrying the throne. Eight angels. Eight not angels. Good. What if who I said good? Okay, what what I prove to you that they are goats. Uh, proof to me from where from hadith or Quran I, 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 leave that to me I mean Christian Prince he can prove it from anywhere who care no no if you want to prove me give me hadith true hadith or the Quran said that okay let us see because Quran said and the angel he carried the throne of God let us see All right. This is the hadith says. They are speaking about where Allah, Allah is above, etc. Allah is above, Allah is above, blah, 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 blah. And then they said, and then above the seven heaven, there is a sea. The distance between 
whose surface in the bottom is like the the, the uh, between one heaven and the next above that there is eight mountain goats the distance between those hoofs or whose hoofs and hunches is like the distance between the heaven and the next then Allah the blessed the exalted is above that can you send me the hadith please yeah, sure can you send me the link yeah. <clears throat> no problem <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> you send it? There we go. Where is it? <clears throat> no, hold the, I don't know if you can open the link. It's very long. Is it? Is it long to open? Click on it. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, I uh, try to open it, please. No, it is error. It is error. It's error. Okay. Can you read the hadith in Arabic? Okay, please? no problem. Read in it. hadith no in Arabic. Problem. Let's say it. The hadith is long, so I will read at the end. ثم فوق ذلك ثمانية أوعال بين أضلافهم وركبهم مثل ما بين السماء إلى السماء ثم على ظهورهم العرش ثم الله تبارك وتعالى فوق ذلك reference 'tis uh, not in hadith it is in uh, some saying in tafsir uh, this hadith is Eight Look, angels. I will go with you. They are the eight angels. The angels are carrying the throne of Allah, which is metaphorical or it is physical. Let me complete the hadith, please. يقول رواه أبو داود والترمذي وابن ماجه وقال حديث حسن غريب. حسن. حديث حن غريب. الحديث الغريب لا يؤخذ. هذا حديث ليس صحيح. So why you are saying Hassan? حديث غريب. So why you call it Hassan? Hassan mean what? Hassan mean good. <laughs> so you call it good? لا, and then you say, حسن غريب. غريب. ليس حسن. حسن. It's حسن good. غريب. It's good. حسن غريب. Okay, وليس حسن. You just said. You see, a second ago, I showed you a hadith which says Hassan. You rejected. You said it's daif. When I said to you the hadith about Allah have air above him and air underneath of him, you said this is daif. I showed everybody that this is Hassan. And now you are in this hadith I gave you. He said to me, Hassan, and you add to it, Gharib. Forget about this all. No, no. Uh, no problem, no problem. Let us, let us finish this game. So, the, the, the throne of Allah. Not Hassan. Listen, hadith, the throne of Allah. I, the throne I, of I said, Allah. No, okay. no, no. Okay, hold on, hold on. Please. The throne uh, of Allah. I see. Dr. Rahi, the throne of Allah is created by eight angels, according to you, correct? Is it true that those angels they have? I send you the have, link. I is it true the that link those this hadith, my friend, hadith daif. No problem. Hadith daif. Is it true that those please, angels? Please open. Please I, open you are the, the one link. who just showed me Hassan Gharib, and now you are saying daif. You Muslims are confused. Is it Hassan Gharib or daif? Secondly, no. the second you say is daif, that means it's accepted because daif hadith is not rejected. Al, al Albani said this daif. Okay. This daif. The Albani says daif. Do you accept what the Albani said? Yes, in this hadith I say. No, no, I no. I'm asking you, do you accept the Alabani to be a reference for you? You say yes or no? No, not all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alabani is something to witness for, but Al when we want, Alabani is an idiot when we want. Either you say yes, he is good all the time, or then they don't go take the Alabani. So, why you are taking the Alabani now? Because it just, uh, he said, Daif. <laughs> and isn't it Ibn Majah is one of the Sahih Hadith books? 
Isn't it the Sahih? His six books. Okay. So how Ibn Majah suddenly became daif? The Sahih books is six books. Is, 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 who, sure. is, who is higher? Who is higher? Ibn Majah or Al Alabani who died just a few years ago? Not all in the Ibn Majah is uh, true. My friend. Not all hadith. So why you call his book Sahih? This is Sahih Ibn Majah, Sahih al Turmudi, Sahih al Bukhari. All of them they are Sahih. Yet what is inside is not Sahih. Now forget about this. Not we, said sahih. we are wasting our we time. Have not said we, Sahih. It is Sahih. We not said Sahih. It is sahih no, no. This we is, said Sunan. Okay. Sunan. Uh, let, uh, no, 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 I can show everybody in two seconds that all Muslim Sunni agree that the books of authentic hadith are six books. Do you agree or not? No. Okay, let me show it in the screen. No. Hold on, give me a second. Is the guys, he said no. Okay. This guy supposedly is an imam, sheikh. I'm not being rude with you, Dr. Rahi, but uh, forgive me, I have to say that. You know, you said that no, and I will show everybody that is not true. Muslims only believe in six authentic books of hadith. It's called Sahih. Al Sihah Sitta. I will show it in Arabic, and I will show it in English. <laughs> Who said this? Saying? You are really funny. Who said this saying? <laughs> Who said this saying, my friend? Okay. Hold on. Let us see. <laughs> Do you know what Ibn 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 Majah uh, called his book? He called Sunan Ibn Majah. I know Sunan. what he called him, but you must consider as authentic. The All right. I just search in Google, and look what came in my face right away. Okay. Okay. Kutub, okay. Kutub al Sitta, the six books of Hadith, are they authentic? Let us see if they are. What the Muslims yes. say about. Yes. Al Kutub al Sitta. Al Kutub al Sitta. No. No. They are. They are. No. They are. They are authentic. Here we go. They are the six authentic. Sahih Sitta, my friend, my book, my read, Sitta, the six authentic books of Hadith. Number one, no, who who called us Sahih Sitta? Who who all of you Muslim Sunni you call it Sahih Sitta? I learned in university. You know, you know that my teachers, my teachers, they are their beard was bigger than the beard of your of your higher scholar in in the Azhar University. And they never call them except as Sahih is wrong. Your teacher is wrong, my friend. My friend, they are big shakes and they are they knew what they are talking about. And all Muslim Sunni here, you are just playing a game. You are not being honest. As Sahih Sitta, everybody knows them. Al Bukhari, Muslim, and Nasai Abu Dawood, Al Turmudi, and Ibn Majah. And now you do not know. And this is your Muslim website saying, not, Yes, there are six authentic books of hadith. In... My friend, let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Now, let's go here. You said that eight angels will carry Allah's throne. Why they are carrying Allah's throne if it's not real? Because uh, God used the angel to do anything in the world. But you said it's not so, real. Is, is the throne of Allah is real or it's metaphorical? Is it a chair? Not. We don't know how they carry him. We when we said not now, the question. Not the, the question. Sky this, is, is, this is not the question. The chair. Is it a real chair or not? Not really a chair. Not, okay, we the guys is not really chair. So how it is not really a chair? <laughs> how it is not really a chair? But yet they will carry the chair. And how it have borders? It says in the at, at the edges of the chair. So it is not a chair, but eight angels will carry the chairs according to you. They will carry what? They are acting. You you must learn the metaphor in Arabic my friend, friend this is not when metaphorical. Said, because I ask you where is Allah you said he is above the throne 
Did you say no. it's metaphorical? Because no, if when it's metaphorical, there's no need to say above. You are the one who said it's above. Did you say above or no? Now, when we say the king has a throne. This is not the question. I ask you. I ask you. Is I will, Allah above? I want to, uh, is Allah, this is not the question. Is Allah is above the throne or he is not above the throne? Above the, thr the okay. throne. But so what? the second you say above the throne, that means the throne must be a physical throne because there is no no way to say above the throne if there is no throne because metaphorical throne, this, this means mean there is no throne. When you say metaphorical, that means it's not exist. It's not real. It's metaphorical. It's some uh, symbolic for his authority, symbolic for his power, etc. But you are the one saying he is above the throne. So as long he is above the throne, that means the throne must be real. And as long he is carried by eight angels, that means those angels, they are carrying a real throne. And now, is those angels are animals or they are real angels? Is it true that those angels they have four faces each one of them and they have faces of animals? This no, is no, I, I said to you it is it is a uh, hadith life. It is life. I I friend, you are the you. one who mentioned to me Ibn Abbas before so you accept Ibn Abbas and this is Ibn Abbas He says the angels will be in the side of the throne It's an uh, uh, extreme it uh, sides different directions and part and eight, he says, eight different angels, each one of them has four different faces, a face of a, a human, a face of an eagle, a face of a lion, a face of a bull. Is that correct? Uh, my friend, you must know how to read the interpretations because the interpretations contains wheat and the chaff. So you must learn to sift the wheat from what interpretation, the chaff. What interpretation chaff, you accept, okay? Dr. Wahid? Let's get it short. What interpretation you accept, and I will read it. What a scholar? Give me a real scholar, not don't give me those puppies who, you know, they go in the internet today and they claim to be scholars. Who is a scholar you accept his interpretation for this chapter? Uh, I accept not, I, I, I am not accept all the interpretation, but I am <laughs> I don't just accept all the you interpretation. What choose you abnormal opinions, what no which opinion? harm my the friend, prophet. I also my choose friend. the opinions that praise the prophet, peace be upon. Okay, support what okay. you say is that this is metaphorical from your prophet statement. Go ahead. Because God not. Uh, no, 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 no. You just say it. You just say it. You just say it. I go by the prophet opinion about this topic. Show me the prophet opinion about this topic. The prophet not said because the God but said. But a second ago you said to me, shay. My shay. friend, I am nothing like me too. So what? And nothing like you, and nothing like my phone, and nothing like the. And, and everything is in, in this earth is is different. What the, what does that mean? So here's this. The, the cat, every cat, so nothing like it. Does that mean the cat is God? What does this have to do with the question? I'm asking you that Allah throne, Allah, in, you said to me, Allah is above the throne. The second you say above, okay, let me ask you, do you Muslim agree that Allah is above the heaven? Yes. Okay. Is the heaven is up or down? It's okay, but you just said to me Allah is above the heaven how the heaven can be above it if, if there is many up <laughs> How Allah can no, be no. above yeah. something <laughs> But this thing is not a flat. So when you Muslim you say is Allah is above above where? God what's uh, God in the Quran? Okay. No, the I God of the Quran the God of the Quran said that there is seven heavens, correct? Allah will be mad. There is seven heavens, yes or no? Yes, yes okay. there are seven heavens. Thank you very much. So as long as there are seven heavens, that means Allah is above the seven heavens, correct or not? 
Yes, he above the world. Is the, sun, the, is, is the world. seven heaven? If the, is the seven heaven occupy space and shape? Yes. Okay, that's mean Allah is above a space and shape. That's mean Allah located in a location. Is Allah? Is Allah live in the seven heaven, close to the house of Al Ma'mur? Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. What is the Bayt Al Ma'mur? Hmm. Al Bayt Al Ma'mur, he is the uh, he is the place in the sky. Hmm. Said Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. Hmm. What is that? But it is not uh, a house or Bayt Al Ma'mur like our house. Hmm. It's what you must uh, know. It's what it says. Bayt Bayt mean house. Like what? It's what it says. As I know, that this is a house where seventy. Thousand angels they go inside it every day, correct? Al Bayt al Ma'mur al Maqsud huwa al Bayt al Haram. Al Bayt al Ma'mur wal Bayt al Dalika Qala al Haram wal Bayt al Ma'mur. Bayt al Haram, Allah, Allah have a Kaaba there. Allah have a Kaaba. Not in the heaven. What? What tour? What said uh, God said? Well, our Bayt al Ma'mur. هو يقسم بالبيت المعمور والبيت المعمور القصد به ذا كعبة ذا هيفن إن ذا نات نات إن ذا نات إن ذا هيفن. okay let us see if this is true. let us see if this is true or not. here we go. this is your prophet and this is صحيح مسلم is speaking about going up to the heaven and in there he found البيت المعمور. I don't know where you got your degree from, Dr. Rahi. Al Azhar University is a very weak school. I, I, I advise you to change your school. Al Bayt al Ma'mur is not the Kaaba. As you see, this is in above the seven heaven, and this is where Allah He lived next to it. And there is seventy, or He lived inside it, and there is seventy thousand angels go inside it every day. But you said a second ago, you said to me, this is the Kaaba. <clears throat> now say <so> now Well Bayt al Ma'mur what said Ibn Kathir? What Ibn Kathir said? This is so your I prophet. Know. Hold on. <laughs> Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Kathir. <laughs> Ibn Ibn Kathir, he cannot say against this. What's wrong with you, Muslims? I'm showing you what your prophet saying. You are saying to me that as mere Ibn, you are not even they are not even respecting your prophet. Ibn Kathir, by the way, agree with me. But this is not the point. You are saying to me, my prophet must be wrong because the one who says that is your prophet. He is saying he found that he found the, the Nile and the Euphrates in the house of Allah. <laughs> hey, Dr. Rohi, you are from Egypt, right? Yes. Okay. Is the Nile in the heaven of Allah or it is in your country, my friend? Nile River. Yes. So how Muhammad is saying he found Nazar and Euphrates, the Nazar in Egypt and in Sudan, in Ethiopia, uh, you know, in, in uh, many countries, and Euphrates is goes to Turkey, uh, Syria, Iraq. How Muhammad he claimed that he saw the Nile River, Euphrates, and Al Bayt Al Ma'mur in the seven heaven. But yet Al Bayt Al Ma'mur is Mecca according to you. And Nile River is next door to you. How this happen? Let me uh, read from the tafsir of uh, this uh, first. Okay. Qurtub qal wal bayt al ma'mur kulhu ta'ala wal bayt al ma'mur qala Ali wa Ibn Abbas wa ghayruhum huwa bayt fi al-sana hiyal al-Ka'bah yadkhulu kull yawm 70 alf malak. See? It's not the Kaaba. It is not the Kaaba. It's a house in the sky. But you are Sheikh who have a PhD. You said to me, no, this is not in the sky. This is the Kaaba. You just said to me, Bayt of Sama. Let, uh, let me uh, complete the tafsir. Mm, complete. Okay. <coughs> okay. 
وحكى القشيري عن ابن عباس انه في السماء الدنيا قال بكر سكل سال ابن الكواء علي رضي الله عنه قال فما البيت المعمور؟ قال بيت فوق السماوات تحت العرش يقال له الضراح وكذا في الصحاح الى اخره قال المهدوي اه اوكي قال الحسن البيت المعمور هو الكعبة البيت الحرام الذي هو معمور من الناس This is what they say in by the Prophet. This is stupid. Your Prophet. Yeah. Your Prophet. He said that. Okay, that's me. Okay, okay. Hold on. Which one you accept? This is in. Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Hold on. Your Prophet saying he went to the seven heaven and he found the Bait al-Ma'mur there, or someone says to you the Bait al-Ma'mur is down in earth. Which one you accept? Your Prophet or that guy? It is no problem if there. Uh, no, it's a problem. No, it's a problem that when you must you to listen to Muhammad, and Muhammad says he found the Bait al-Ma'mur in the seven heaven. For me, obviously, you Muslims, you have no idea what I'm talking about. This is a messed up religion. Every one of you have different opinion. When the fact is in the front of you, it's clear. Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven, and in paradise, this is during the time he's condemned to paradise, supposedly. He found rivers, which obviously Muhammad is lying here because there's no way he found the Nile River, and you it is there. In the top of that, the most important for us in our topic, there's a house for Allah there, and there are 7,000 angels. They enter the house of Allah every day. Is Allah is inside the house? That house in heaven? No, no, it is not. So why that. the angels are getting inside the this house? Why the angels are getting inside this house? 70,000 angels every day in the heaven. What this house is about? Okay, we talk about this topic another time because okay. now I want to go. All right. It's uh, a <laughs> little bit my pleasure, friends. Okay. Uh, Thank you. We, okay, thank you. Thank you we talk uh, another time. Yeah, you work. You work. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. The voice, <coughs> the voice is bad. I don't know what's happening. Why? Not sure. Uh, okay, let me. Maybe the internet is getting weaker. Anyway, guys, we have we are done for today, and uh, later you can cut the video and uh, download it and share it. As you see, Muslims they have no idea. Bad voice. Is it bad voice for everybody? <coughs> Maybe the voice better from his voice was. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> anyway, as you see, those are their shakes. They have to fabricate as much as they can, try and avoid anything. After speaking to Dr. Rohi for more than an hour or two, but we got nothing. Each time he says something, we find it's, it's false from their books. And the funny, he says, Allah is not Allah. Allah, he have a shape, but this is not the shape of Allah. <laughs> Allah, he, he has lower his equality. <laughs> Allah, he spoke from the tree, but this is a voice Allah created. This is not the voice of Allah. The tree, I am Allah, but it was not Allah. I mean, it's a madness. What you expect? So thank you for being here, guys. I'm getting tired. My voice is gone. And... Uh, uh, if there is any of you, he will have to do a good uh, uh, video, uh, uh, intro video for my other channel. Uh, contact me in Skype, please, so you can help me to create that intro. This uh, channel, the other channel, we will not maybe in, in, in a day or two from now. And it's going to be for a totally different topic, and everybody is welcome to subscribe. So I hope maybe by tomorrow, if I go live here, I will tell you which channel I will use. So you can subscribe there. And that channel I will use when I am away <clears throat> in my coming trip. Uh, so I will post videos uh, about my trip. And, you know, we will speak about many things. 
So if you like to follow my news, you will go to that channel. So until I see you again, may the Lord bless you all. If you'd like to learn more and to read more about the cult of Islam, which as you see, can cannot answer us. All what, all what the difficulty is in Islam, if Muslims speak to someone who knows, then you will see Islam is very silly cult. If you speak to them, Muslims, they will give you a million answer, but those answers will not work with me. All their answers is fabricated, and we prove it here every day. Thank you for being here. Read my books. You can get them from Amazon. And if you like to follow me uh, and to to uh, to be updated about uh, the videos because we delete them always, you can subscribe to Patreon website so you can be updated with the new links because we update the links for the videos there. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you soon. Take care.